Storytelling has completely taken over for a weekend and it's buzzing. Lots of people are interested. Storytellers are getting to meet each other, meet their public and talk about how we develop for the future, which is fantastic. There's loads of different conversations and talks taking place here at the Leeds Takeover event based on heritage, storytelling in a personal setting, storytelling from a space context, which was really interesting as well. Not just the performance side, but the application as well, which was really fascinating. I was asked to lead a city centre story walk based in and around Millennium Square, part of the city centre that's absolutely steeped in history. It really wasn't a problem to find some really great stuff that I could unearth and link together with folklore and fairy tale. Move away from there and you're crazy. You cannot be standing under a mango tree. It was my first ever storytelling event as well, so I didn't know what to expect and I really loved it. It made me laugh so much that I was walking backwards and forwards on my chair. I want to buy myself a racing camel, go to Rajasthan and win loads of races, and with all the money, I'm going to buy an elephant! It was fantastic just to hear all those Indian stories. They're all woven together and they're told with such passion. It was beautiful. It's really clever the way it's done and it's it's got that really nice Indian sort of vibe to it with the music as well. What's the most bizarre audience reaction you've had? <laughs> Do you remember? Most bizarre. So I sat down really enthusiastic in front of a group of storytellers and a little kid looked at me and went, <gasps> scary eyes! <laughs> scary eyes, that's brilliant. <laughs> One went on the front, just lifted her arms and shrieked and kind of flew off into the air. It was beautiful. We've got three storytellers in each team. Each teller has got a library of myths swirling in their beings. One teller from each team will tell a myth and they will pit it against one another. Broccoli! Poor Bellow, poor only Bellow. Heave the mud, cut the stone, moan and groan! His body would begin to turn so one eye would grow large, one eye would grow very small. It's kind of exciting, like, you know, to kind of be a judge of, of things, really, and it's, yeah, and they're also engaging. The actual sort of competitive element, head to head, I've not seen that before, but I think it's a really good idea to get the audience to decide which they find uh, the most interesting and compelling. What an opportunity not only to see some of the best in the business performing their shows, but an opportunity to practice and learn. We really need to invest in storytelling. We need to realise what a fantastic way of learning about other cultures it is, but it's also great entertainment. I think it's been brilliant. Um, I'm really glad that we've done it. It's something new for the city, something new for us, and I'm, yeah, I'm so proud that we've been a part of it.